hello hello perspective bidders um, this is a video I'm gonna show off the machine and the, the condition it's in and all the features and uh, you'll have to bear with me because I tend to get emotional around uh, ma magnets so this this was my machine uh, I went back in my audio uh, file days um, and I used it quite. I got quite a bit of use out of it until uh, I, w I woke up a morning to my my dog licking my ear, and uh, I've since not been able to hear over five kilohertz. So let me take you through the machine. It's a TEC A4010S with automatic reverse, and it's got the transport and the reels and the stopper and the cap stand and the speed select and the monitor and the record and the playback and the VU and the line and it has mic in for the left and the right depending on your uh, political uh, stance that's uh, uh, kidding kidding that's uh, uh, in reference to uh, the left and right side of the the tape or the re respective speaker the the signal is going to come out of so that's what that refers to it's a wooden box with the uh, controls kind of uh, peppered in I think it's a square excuse me for waxing poetic but there's just so much groovy stuff that um, I, I'm trying to get it across in the video the pinch roller is a little Stiff. I think I see a mosquito here. That's certainly how I would like to go. Great buttons. Look at that. I love the buttons. Now, if you're worried about scraping your hand on some some metallic thing, you don't have to worry about that. Cause look, I'm doing it here. It's not sharp enough to break my skin. There's there's no blood anywhere. On the machine, no blood. This here, you could cut yourself on. No, note, there's no plastic anywhere, because plastic, as we know, it triggers off some sexual hormone uh, whenever you touch it. The reels, the reels, the reels, the reels are gonna spin depending on how you enjoy the music. If you like soft, uh, lilting music, it'll kind of have this lilting quality to the, to the spin and that's all calibrated by TAC and you can find the right adjustments if you like kind of jerky uh, electronic it's gonna jerk around right past the cover okay so that's so that's the machine Melody idea number 72. And that puts it together. Mushy Dictates on the record, November 25th, 2011. Speaking about the events of October, now let's say 17th, 2001. And this entire year, I was consumed by a crush on a girl her name was Lauren Lisbon. She was short, uh, dark skin, with dark hair, and her face looked like a chipmunk, which was very cute um, and desirable in the evolutionary sense, I, I'm told. I had very limited contact with Lauren because we attended different middle schools. We went to the same elementary, but she attended the public uh, middle school, Immaculate Heart of Mary Middle Academy, and I was sent to the all-male Catholic school. It was called Blueberry. Uh, we had very few encounters, and when we did see you run into each other in public, um, I would get very tense, and I would, uh, I would, wouldn't be able to say anything other than, 
little interjections about, you know, little mistakes. I'd say, oops, or whoops, or my bad, or it's all good, it's all good. Um, but I never professed to her that I was in like with her. But I had this opportunity coming up to really impress her. It was kind of my big shot, and that was on the football field. And that brings us to this day, October 17th. I was a, a big deal on the field. I was the tailback. I was the outside linebacker. And I also called the plays. The coach would call the, he would run the plays in, but all, the only play he ever called, the kid would run in and say, commit to out hit. And that's all he'd ever say. So we actually had to call some actual plays, and I took that upon myself. But our schools were playing that particular day, and all the girls were there watching the game. And you talk about motivation. We we would get so excited about playing in front of the girls. I had it all planned out. I even told my father not to come to the game because my father would drive to the games and drive me home immediately in his car. He'd say, you're all beat up. I'll drive you home. Whereas the rest of the team would go down to the local gourmet and talk about the game and about the girls and maybe the girls would come there from the other school. My father said it was fine. He said he was going to run some errands, take care of some work. He was the police chief of, our, of uh, the Heights. And he also had a second gig. He was trying his hand at stand-up, which wasn't going very well. Um, he got some, uh, some heat in the nursing home circuit. He was doing that when... Uh, uh, he had a heckler, a very sick man in a wheelchair, said, you know, heckled him. He said, sit down. And my dad said, I'll sit down when you stand up. And they found that quite tasteless, albeit clever. Um, he had a plan he was talking about to convert to Judaism to better his shot at his comedy career. So, it's game day. No dad. Lauren's in the stands. Great weather. Are my legs feel great? I'm playing great. The game starts. I'm making a lot of tackles. I'm running very fast. I'm breaking a lot of tackles. A lot of. I'm getting a lot of yards after the hit, which my my coach liked. And finally, we get down to the fourth quarter, late in the fourth, and we're on the five-yard line, we're about to punch it in, and we know we're going to run it, they know we're going to run it, we can't give it to the fullback, because he disliked confrontation, so we knew the ball was going to me, and I said, let's run it off the right tack, so we line it up, and they're stacking that side on defense, because it's the only play we've run all game, so we call a timeout. And we huddle up. During this huddle, my father was in the process of legally changing his name from Corning to Krongold. And he had already met with the rabbi. The conversion was nearly complete. He was going to change his name. We break the huddle. The quarterback gets the ball. And as he's handing to it, my, my, as he hands me the ball, my father's lifting his pen off from signing his name Krongold officially. And the second his pen leaves the paper, the ball touches my skin. And I immediately get the spilkes and think to myself, what's all this? I'm, for myself, this is how I treat myself, put myself in this situation? Meshuga. And I immediately start running the other direction. And I run 95 yards through the opposite end zone. And just immediately have an asthma attack, which I didn't even have asthma before that. And my coach comes to me and says, what was that? And I said, what? You think, you think I'm going to run into this 
this behemoth, this Vildachaya? No. And I watched the rest of the game in the silent, but I, I'd say I watched the game, I, I watched Lauren the whole time. And after the game, I did go to the Gorbe. And she was there uh, with her friends. And she said that was really cute when you ran. And I dropped my little, uh, like a little coffee stir. I said, oops, oops, my bad. She said, I'll get it. I said, no, no, it's my bad. I'll get it. Oops, whoops. It's all cool. And I felt good about that. She had heard my voice a lot. She now knew the sound of my voice. And it was the most we'd, we uh, had talked up until that point. And it and uh, I left, I said, oops. You know.